Alessio O'Donnell. Snap over his shoulder. Salmon in the front has taken the mark. So Paul Salmon, first scorer of the day, shouldn't have any trouble converting, and he doesn't. The Bombers by a goal. Essendon so far, Geelong will have to tighten up in the middle. McGrath, short kick. Mark taken by Salmon. Well, Salmon's a real chance to score from here, about 45 metres. What a magnificent kick by Salmon, it's a goal. Look for one minute, I think there was one there. Salmon again. He's just filling space at the present time. 40 metres out directly in front. Salmon's kicked his third. Dream start to Essendon. McGrath's kicked the right half forward, mark taken by Hickmott. He's very exciting young talent, Hickmott. His other redhead, McGrath, plays better at centre-half forwards. At centre-half back, I should say, as we saw him uh, clearing that one. Oh. Ablett in a pack of three players. Incredible power. And he'll kick the distance quite easily. And he kicks it straight. Hocking from the centre square. Again, Adlett will be the target, has to try to beat three of them. He's going to get a free kick for interference. Adlett well within kicking distance. No free kick in that. No, not at all. Ablett shoots from about 50 metres. Lovely kick by Ablett. Like Paul Salmon with the shoulder. Pretty heavily strapped. McGrath, good long kick into attack. Ablett and Danaher! Great mark by the great man. Ablett directly in front, 45 metres out. Doesn't usually miss these, hasn't missed that one. No mark taken, roving it well was the Brownlow medalist, Paul Couch. Funny looking kick, the end result might be okay. Adler slung off the ball, snapshot, he's got his fourth. Half forward area, and the player ducking back is his brother Gary Hockey. Marks and handballs away to Couch, and Couch kicks with penetration. The free kick, it's going to Adler. Pretty tight angle for the big fella. He runs around and puts it through for a goal. Under the ground by himself, which means it must be a loose Essendon player. Kick towards Sam and he's got it. 406 career goals. That's his fourth today. Denham's kick goes in towards centre half forward. A high leap by Barnes. Gatherers by Buick. Buick's kick to full forward. Bounce! For Salmon, and he gets the goal. As Pickering gets the ball away from the centre, and Ablett. Well, you could have put anyone on Ablett then, and it wouldn't have made any difference. Too obvious, so I'd better do it. Gary Ablett for goal number six, and he doesn't miss it straight through the centre. For the hand pass, then the short kick for Wanganeen. Wanganeen, who's been a little quiet, he's kicking towards centre half forward. Salmon. Key forwards. Each with six goals. Salmon going for his sixth. Salmon has got his sixth. He infringed after he just dropped the ball in front of him. He uh, did tap it with his fist, so it was played as a, as a handball and an infringement. Gary Ablett coming in for kick number 16. A bit of an angle. Shouldn't bother him and doesn't. He's kicked eight goals, seven. Boundary throw in. Geelong set to clear. Couch. Got some space, hand pass, Gary Hocking, outside 50 metres, he's kick into the pocket, Ablett using his body. Being held, had him around the waist. Ablett has now kicked nine goals. Kick in towards the centre, effective, the mark is taken by Mercury. Looking to pass it off, Salmon leads, now... That's good. That's really, really good. If it's going to happen down one end, it has to happen down the other end. So Salmon gets the free kick. There was actually no need for this push out. In fact, it looked as if uh, Salmon was the one who took his eyes off the ball. But Salmon has a chance to kick his seventh goal. And it's going to be pretty close. It's through for a goal. Around Oliver and Shaw, Tudor. Haven't seen much of him today. Marks in front of Denham. Playing against his former club. Hills or Herb, Adlett. Snap, <laughs> number 10. Somerville. Pickering tries to barge through. It's Joe Masiti. 
Masiti up towards Salmon, who marks directly in front. Let's see how he kicks a goal. He's kicked seven. Seven four, to be precise. He's kicked eight four now. And the Cats get the quick reply. Gary Hocking, unmarked at left half forward. Short pass from him. Adlett on a lead. And Hurd has got the job of minding him now. Kick number 19 for the champ. Distance is there. Accuracy looks pretty good. It's another one. 11. And we're running out of room in the footy record. 15-16 to 15-12. He's got two gears at the present time, and uh, he certainly is hobbling. And knows Adrian Hickman back on the ground. Grenvold's kicking towards full forward, looking for Salmon. Yes, he does good. well, does very well, does extremely well. Magnificent stuff by Salmon. Hickmott had a badly injured ankle, came back on, has come back on. Scott, long kick, Ablett, good use of the body, great mark. Strong this from out. Adler for his 12th. The Cats need one. And he's kicked one. Salmon calling for it and quickly. Puts it out in front for the big fish. Now Salmon brushes his way through and will get a free kick. Oh. It's about the most sensible come into the lot, I think. Salmon's kicked a goal. He's kicked 10. Denham kicks the ball out for Essendon, well outside 50 metres, up high, Barnes, what a specky. What a great game he's Oh, very talented player. And off the left foot. Oh! 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 A two good marks there. Oh, Barnes first and this. this one. Well, most people would say that uh, Golly Moses is a fair description for the man they call God. <laughs> a direct link. Well, this shot will put Geelong in front if he kicks accurately. And 13 goals to Ablett. Geelong lead. Fletcher overruns it. Fisted back. Intercepting is Robert Scott. Quick to get boot to ball. Down to Ablett again. Yes. No. Play on. Hey, played, hey. It. played it. Kevin said he won't like the result if he slams this through. This will equal his 14 against Richmond. Which he's done. A record-breaking performance by Gary Ablett, getting Geelong's 19th goal and one of the great performances in AFL history.